corner, Jay Travers with the DJ move, please.
Yeah. Nah, I'm at the square. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it'd be a couple of hours.
haven't actually heard it myself, so we're going to recommend it as we go here. For the photograph of Tomato Rainbow is for Kim Gritter, Grider, Gritter, anybody know? Big round of applause for Kim, whoever it is. All right, for the Salsas, we have Chris, uh, excuse me, fourth place is James Yonker. Is James Yonker out there? Give him a big round of applause. It's not going to hurt you. We got just a few more here. Third place is Kevin Munson. Kevin Munson, who over to pick up your prize for third place over there for your Salsa. Second place is Wendy Johnson. I went to high school with a girl named Wendy Johnson. Oh, she is it. Oh, Y'all are really quiet out there. You make me feel good. Thank you. There we go. Somebody who holler do something. There you go. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. First place for the Salsas in the Tomato <coughs> Fest contest over here is Chris Wilburn. There we go. Somebody knows Chris. Get over there and get your prize for your salsa, everybody. For salads, first place goes to Enola. Gay Matthews. Anola Gay Matthews, good job. For main dish, first place is Audrey Greenway. Does anybody know Audrey Greenway? Send her over there. First place for the main dish. And the last but not least prize for side dish goes to Diana Goen for her tomato jelly. We appreciate everyone that participated in the uh, tomato fest over there. Thank you very much. Appreciate that, buddy. I am going to get some people's requests here. We're going to start right here with this one. You guys feel free to dance and have a good time out there. I heard people with two steps to two steps. I got him. Thank you. Brisket tacos. Can't beat that, brother.
bring you back low, then the pound of real glad to like the percolate. Cause I'll leave you holy like you pray in the temple One beat, I move with a little pencil It might won't miss you, good night kiss you Take a damn lie, cause you got pistol And all day, body picker up these issues Wobble, baby, 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 wobble, Don't know. This is my baby brother right here in the little white, white and blue checker shirt. This is my baby brother, the one that towers over me by a couple inches. All right, guys, we're gonna come back to the song here in just a moment. We are gonna do some more announcements for first place winner for the last year class. James okay. All right. We. Uh, I tell you what. I'm gonna let you handle those since I'm all sweaty in my hands. Okay, these are the winners for the actual tomato contest. These were recipes and stuff. I apologize if you know that earlier. The first place for the large red class, Open Division, is James Yonker. Are you out there, James? Well, we'll make sure when, when someone finds James Yonker, when he finds himself, feel free to come on up and pick up your prize here. Let's see. Second place in the tomato growing contest, large red class, Open Division, is Enola Gay Matthews. Big round of applause for Enola, everybody. Then third place for the same division, large red class, is uh, Cindy Elam. Elam Elam. There she is. Big round of applause for Cindy, everybody. And if anyone asks anyone else who the winners were, feel free to tell them to come up here and check with me. All right, we got first place in the pair class open division is Linda Allison. Linda Allison, are you out there? Big round of applause for Linda anyway. She'll come up and pick up her certificate. Second place is John Bowman in the pair class open division. John Bowman. Big round of applause. Y'all keep clapping. It's not going to kill your hands. Trust me, you've all clapped longer. Third place in the pair class open division is Chris Wilburn. Come on, Chris. Come get you. Get your certificate. He's right over here. Oh, there he is. Oh, watch out. She's going to take it and run with it. You can take that to the bank. First place in the cherry class. Love me some cherry tomatoes. We've got Linda Allison. Woo! Great job, Linda. We have another one for you here too, don't we? Yes. Okay, we'll find that for you here. There you go. Oh, and you get a little tomato squeezy. Look at that. There you go. Great job. Thank you, Linda, for participating. And second place in the cherry class, Chris Wilburn. Come on back down, Chris. Very much. Did anybody bring me a, a towel? I think somebody brought one, right? Change of clothes? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Third place in the Cherry Class Open Division is John Bowman. Big round of applause for John. Is that all the winners on yeah. there? Again, thank you so much, you folks, for participating in the Tomato Festival over there. Appreciate you. Now, back to the music. And yes, for all these 62 people that are going to come up and ask me the next 30 minutes if we're going to do the wobble again, the John's on slide, the keep it going. Thank you. 
anybody who might even think they can get a wild one. And when it's over, you ain't gonna meet your bird. Cause I'm a pro, make you bend your back low. And the kind of real bad, you like the purple. Cause I leave you holy like you pray in the temple One B, I move with the letter of a pencil And my rope miss you, good back kiss you Take a damn back, cause you got pistol And now I'm bad, now they pick her up, these issues Wobble baby, wobble baby, wobble baby, wobble baby 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 City equipment. I am.
Yeah. Do you need that to check the sound? Okay, okay. Okay, okay, I'll let her know if that might be that might be an option. They make they make it they make it but it's it's a one that can be hit.
your drinks. Dollar.
thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm wearing a 
Every memory lingers with me yet. I got it bad, like I told you before. I'm so in love with you. Don't leave me no more. I want you come on home. I want you come back home. I'm crazy about you, can't do without you. So won't you come on home? Lipstick traces on a cigarette. Every memory lingers with me yet. Got it bad like I told you before I'm so in love with you Don't leave me no more This is my friend Billy Spielman You ever heard the song Mother-in-law? I got it bad like I told you before I'm so in love with you Don't leave me no more 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 This is the song that made him famous Yeah. 
why y'all do it. And it was signed by the Secretary Harper Valley PTA. Y'all going to the Harper Valley PTA? Well, the Harper Valley PTA was gonna be that very afternoon. So y'all move. We didn't move. I'm close now. And they were sure surprised when Mrs. Johnson. This magic moment. So different and so new was like any other until I kissed you and then it happened. It took me by surprise. I knew that you felt it too. By the look in your eyes, sweeter than one. Summer in the summer night Anything I want I have Whatever I hold it tight This magic moment While your lips are close to mine Will last forever Forever till the end of time Sweeter than wine, softer than a summer night. You got it. I got it. Everything I want, I have. I got it. Whenever I hold you tight, you see this magic moment. While your lips are close to mine, will last forever, forever till the end. <laughs> That's Josh, y'all. That's Josh singing the magic moment, a drifter song. Yeah, let's just stand by me. You're not kidding about how the difference. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my, my, my. And the land is dark, and the moon is the only light we'll see. Now, hey, I no, I won't. Hey, baby. Be afraid. No, I won't. Be afraid. Just as long as you say, say my name. So, darling, don't stand. Baby, by me, won't stand by me. Get in the field and say, Stand by me, stand by me. <laughs> and if the sky that we look upon it, on, na, 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 na. should crumble and fall, oh. and if the mountains should stumble into the sea, Lord, I won't cry. Just as long as you stand, stand by. You block the view. So down is down is bad. I mean, whoa, say my name. Come on, stand now. Yeah. Stand by. Yeah. Stand, stand by. by me. Good, are you? Go for it, me.
stand by me, stand by me. Whenever you in trouble, won't you stand by me? Oh, stand by me. Oh, baby, stand by me. Stand by me. Stand by me. Stand by me. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an original composition of mine. It's entitled The Last Highway. Which speaks to us all. Hey, Jim had no words up there, but at least I'll help you. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Sing it, baby. I've seen a whole lot of trouble, a whole lot of pain. Mm -hmm. I see people stumble and fall and get back up again. Not a day go by. Not a day go by. I wish I was further down the road. Yes, yeah. we all gotta carry the heavy load. Cause we go ahead. are on the last highway. I'll see you at the end, end someday on the last highway. I On the last highway, I seen a whole lot of trouble. On the last highway, yeah, a whole lot of things, a whole lot of things. Sitting on the dock of the bay, 
Take it back there. Take it back. Take it back. Good job. Well, the sound has blown down way too early, and there's nothing to do.
Where'd you get that? Sucker. Is it a good sucker? Like out of all of my friends, what level are you on? Yes. Are you having fun yet?
What is a cowboy? Are they on Gunsmoke? Or in a John Wayne movie? I've known some real cowboys in my day. My great grandfather rode on the Chisholm Trail. My grandfather cowboyed all his life. My father, Marion Till, was a cowboy. He was a teacher by trade. He taught math and science and coached tennis. But the things that I cherish the most are the things that he taught me. This is things my father taught me. He taught me to always do my best. He taught me the ways of the West. He taught me how to shoot a gun. He taught me to never quit or run. He taught me how to shake a hand. He taught me how to burn a brand. He taught me how to set a horse. He taught me about love and family, of course. He taught me never to tell a lie. Wait, Danny. He taught me how to salute the flag. It's good to see you. Come see me again. He taught me God is on our side. He taught me life should be a good ride. He taught me how to be a man. And he taught me you can if you think you can. I'd like to be one that was recorded in Western Magazine now. Uh, my proud of you out the way Golden Hills, Wyoming, now back in me to share a story about a cowboy. No strangers to this trail. Some folks called him Old Burn Phillips, a legend without fail. Burn was a cowboy and an old time rancher. Stetson has a famous scene painted on silk inside the hat of a cowboy giving his horse a drink from his hat. And everybody knows that. Okay, give me the name. This will be our third one and last prize from Circle E. Give me the name of an old TV Western. The kind you watch when you go to Grandpa's house. Okay, the name of one of the old TV. Oh you got it. You got it. What is your name? Clayton. What is your answer? Lone Ranger. That'll do. Here's your... Deal from Circley right there. Thank you very much. Okay, he could have said, that's right. Okay, so our very own, um, I need you to give him a warm welcome. This is Jack Phillips. And his accompanist. Go, Jack.
Did I hear encore? Jack, do you know another one? Okay, let's do it. Correction in the newspaper, it was said of him that he goes to North Hopkins, and that is a no-no for a sulfur bluff student. <laughs> thank you, Jack, and thank you, Terry. Jack is eight years old. Is that right? Okay. And Jack has been following some of the Western Swing uh, groups around and actually getting a chance to go up on stage and play. And some of the bigger names like Jody Nixon them, and the other evening he got um, recognized by Jason Roberts, who is uh, a filler with the Sleep at the Wheel Band. So that's some pretty big names.
It's called Dusty Sky. Tim Cook 
look in my head Shows it didn't hurt when it's cold Playing an old guitar A friend I understand Oh, 
choices. And then here are all the choices, or you know, they can hot mess on. But if his name is new to you, you will soon be a fan. And remember, remember this, if you don't remember anything else tonight, no matter what you have heard, the cowboy ain't dead yet. Hey! I didn't hear y'all right up. I'm Joe Texas. Now, I admit it's bold of a man to be calling himself Texas, but you know what they say. You can tell a Texan anywhere. Can't tell him a confounded thing, but you can tell us anywhere. I appreciate you riding in. You'll save me a trip into town. 
I've heard the most disturbing rumors in these parts. Do you realize these good people in this world saying the cowboy's a dying breed? Calling us dead! But just the mere utterance of them words makes a man like me feel like I'm the only feller at the dance, and every gal there looks like Willie Nelson. I admit there ain't as many of us as he used to be, but I don't see that that's no call for good folks to be kicking dirt in their face. From where I'm sitting, one or two of you could do with some worming yourself. Well, I figures it ain't your fault. Been watching too many of them Hollywood pictures. Boy, they paint the cowboy way of life as a romantic ride, don't they? Pushing horns weren't easy, not like them movies says it was. And I don't remember dance hall gals and hotel rooms with rugs. You were a pop, tired and nasty, rode your pony a bit too low. And all them nights you couldn't sleep, cause it was so dang cold. We'd see strawberry roll, a little joke. I thought he's gonna drown us all And we lost a lot of steers that day Four or five good mounts When all them boys come riding into camp We knew that's what counts We sang whoop it tie yeah an amazing dream For the night they broke behind us And they took us I whistled out, took Bonner. I saw the terror in his eyes. Oh Lord, he rode for all his horse would ride, and I know he did his best. He crossed over Jordan, riding dirty to his death. And we sang, bring him in the sheaves and the rugged for all. Now when you see a cowboy, he ain't ragged by his choice. And he never meant to mow him or let you put that gravel in his voice. Oh, he's chasing what he really loves, what's burning in his soul. Wishing to have he'd been born a hundred years ago. Singing strawberries. I appreciate it. I like to be around folks that know good singing when they hear it. You know, people's all time ask me nowadays, they say, Joe, what you got to do to be a cowboy? I reckon the first thing you got to learn how to do is yee-haw. Yee-haw! On the count of three, try that. One, two, three. Yee-haw! Y'all good. That comes in mighty handy if you're down at one of them Buffett places trying to get something to eat and it's all crowded and you can't. Just <laughs> Them folks will run right out of the panties getting out of your way. Now here this evening I need your help. Every time I point these fingers at you, I want you to rear back and yee-haw. Yeah. Oh, I figure some of you is looking to one another saying, Honey, as pretty as he is, why would he want to be a cowboy? I figure. Well, I tell you why. It's because we get to see and do what I call cowboy things. You ever seen a red-tailed hawk when it's up on an early morning flight? You ever rid up on a brand new baby calf taking up its first breath of life? It's a good feeling. I ain't sure I can explain it. I reckon you gotta be there. It's a cowboy thing. Like watching a coyote pup just bounce across the prairie, chase this first spin. Or riding a night herd under a blanket of stars, big yellow moon comes rising over the hill. It'll put a lump down in your throat. You know the kind of mean. It's a good lump. It's a cowboy thing. It's like taking a young horse and putting him under his first saddle. Sitting him down tight, step up, take a deep straddle and pull his nose around. And he makes his first move and he steps off easy and you think, this pony's gonna be pretty smooth. 
all of a sudden he jumps 10 feet straight in the air and you think, what in tarnation's going on? I was just sitting here. And he's bucking and snorting with every jump. You'll rake him from his ears to his rump thinking, I wish the boys could see me ride. That's before he ducks his head without wings, you learn how to fly. Man that rides wild horses has got to be a little touch to insane. But you got to get out on the edge of life once in a while to appreciate it. It's a cowboy thing. Like when that farmer down the road calls you and says, Son, I got a bad bull I need to catch. And mind you, boy, I do it myself. But my wife is down in her back. You know, the truth is, he figured you being a cowboy, you ain't toting a full deck. But you'll take your best pony and a couple of hounds. Get a string, something that'll hold 2,000 pounds. You'll do the job that he'll offer you 10, but you won't take it. You simply say, neighbors got to be neighbors, my good friend. City folks find that peculiar and strange. Be a neighbor to that is. But here in the West, it's a cowboy thing. Like gathering wild cattle. And a big old gal breaks out a dead runner, you shake your loop, catch her and down and say, I got you, you son of a gun. And you and the boys have done a day's work and earned a good rest. You're heading back to the bunkhouse when you look over your shoulder towards the west. There's a hundred colors of fire spread all across God's western sky. You know you were born to be a cowboy. You don't need a couch or Dr. Phil to figure out why. Long hours, short pay, there won't be any fortune or fame. But you can take my word on it. The good Lord rewards you each and every day by letting you see it do cowboy things. Good poetry, everyone. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. You know, as cowboys have been around a lot of years, oh, we've had to aid that shit like a and a bit persistent as some men can be. Of course, ain't nothing like that here in the city. Tells you he's looking forward to that certain day, man. Can't wait to taste her recipe for God's sake! She being a female. And the more intelligent the two species. <laughs> and I'm begging the ladies pardon because I'm speaking primarily to the men folks but you sweet ladies is more than welcome to lend your ears Lord knows you're going to anyhow I don't have to tell you good people we've come upon hard times with them Yankees and carpetbaggers having away this country but you may not know this them Yanks is hungry they got a need for beans in the Northeast and the Lord only knows how many of them wild cattle is running this country of Texas. Free for the taking. I got a plan. I'm going to put together a crew of men. We'll gather these wild cattle, trail them north to Kansas, put them on the rail heads, and ship them east. Boys, it ain't going to be easy. What's that, sir? 
do we have a retirement plan? Yes, sir. We call it a stampede. You're going to ride wet, cold, hot, and thirsty. You'll cuss me. You'll cuss the weather. Lord forgive you, you'll cuss the day your mama birthed you. But I'm going to fill your bellies three times a, a day, and I'm going to guarantee each and every man who makes it $100 gold. That's right, fellas. I said $100 gold. And I said to who makes it, we could lose some of you along the way. But there'll be no turning back on the herd, not among my men. Now I'll be at the liver stable at 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> Bring your saddle, a pistol, or rifle, you got one of those shotguns. And remember this, boys. Three square mil a day for you. A hundred dollars gold, and we can still save the sound. Well, as I turned around, my father's standing about a well rope behind me. Oh, he knowed what I was thinking. But can you imagine getting to see the Indian Territory and Kansas and getting to ride a horse all day long? Instead of walking behind an old mule that was going nowhere on that farm. <laughs> he didn't say a word to me till we got home. Then he just looked at me and said, Joe, is you sure? You betcha I was sure. I'd seen 14 summers come and go in my day and I could take care of myself. I was a right fair shot. And I know we could use the money. Oh, I seen that worried look in his eye. I reminded him, there'd been younger boys and me had gone off to fight in that big war between them states, you know. He reminded me a lot of them never come back. <laughs> What's your name? Charlie. Just Charlie? Charlie Jones. Charlie Jones. I'm Doug. Nice to meet you. Me. Hey. Hey, 
is this T man. You got it. You got it. You got people like yourselves to come out and spend the night under the stars and, and ride horses and we'll spend a little money, we'll spend a little time with us. I gotta know for insurance purposes, any of you ever done any short enough cowboy? Yes sir. May I ask you where? Begging your pardon, mister, but that there mechanical bull in one of them beer joints wasn't what I had in mind. Ma'am, you don't say you've done some cowboy, sure enough. No, ma'am. I said, have you ever done any cowboy ink? I didn't ask if you ever done it. You ought to be ashamed sharing that with us. I bet you watch that Jerry Springer show, don't you? What's that? You bet you, girl. You're going to rope, ride, and do everything those cowboys do. But out here, we like to call them calves. We don't call them baby cow cows. <laughs> That's mighty observant, sir. Y'all didn't hear what he said. He said he noticed when y'all was coming out here on the bus that some of our cattle had horns and some don't. I can explain that. All oh, these old horn cattle around here, they don't bother you none. Everything out here will stick you, stomp you, and sting you. Do it used to it. I, I bought some new cattle not long ago. I, I read about them on that computer. What, you think we're ignorant? Yeah. I know, I used to know an old codger, he called them computers, old fool. Yeah, they're called pole cattle, it's a genetic thing. They're born without any horns, and they tell me they won't never grow none. That in the corral? Well, I never thought about it, but I reckon you could call him pole. He, he was born without any horns, and well, in all my day, I've never seen one of them grow. Mister, you know that's a horse, don't you? <laughs> no, young lady, that don't offend me. This is America. If you want to be a vegetarian, that's your business. Did you know vegetarian is an old Comanche word? Come from right here in this country. I speak Comanche fluently. Well, I'd be glad to translate for you. Uh, 
Comanche, vegetarian, translated from Comanche to English, subtract the one, carry the two, means lousy hunter. You know, after you've been here a few days and you've been kicked, stomped, drugged, and pooped on with these old cows, you might want to eat one of them out of revenge. <laughs> now, come on, I'll show you the bunkhouse and watch where you're walking because everything that glitters ain't gold down here. What's that, sir? Oh, I've been hearing that rumor for years, mister. No, no, no. Y'all gather around. I'm going to give you an education class of Cowboy 101 before we get started. Yeah, you're right, friend. You don't see us much on the big screen anymore, and kids don't ride around with Roy and G. And that ain't a cowboy with them feathers strung across the front of his hat. A Frenchman's name embroidered on his jeans. We're still out there riding fences. with a rose So long as there's a sunset we'll be riding for a brand They just can't see us from the road Well they say we sit tall in the saddle We're usually short on cash We're the last equipped first to buy cold beer. Yes, sir, they call us knights in leather armor. We're living by cold. It's made us what we are, boy, for a hundred years. We're still out there riding fences. Still make a living with a road So long as there's a sunset We'll be riding for a prayer They just can't see us from the road Well, I never learned how to line dance I barely learned how to walk But I've worn a lot of sad leather off that saddle tree. Yes, sir, I've had one or two good horses. I count them up with friends. And I never drew a breath. Wasn't free. We're still out there riding fences. Still make a living with a road. We'll be riding for a brand They just can't see us from the road So long as there's a sunset We'll be riding for the brand You know they just can't see me from the road I understand you. Yeah. I'm not offended by that rumor, but uh, you, you city people, you spend so much time in front of that television. Somebody probably told you us cowboys stink. That don't make us extinct. We've been around a lot of years, friend. Do you realize we tipped our hats to old Sam Houston when he came parading by? Because we knew men had brothers at the Alamo. From the ridge of the Paladero, we watched Quanah Parker and all his glory chasing herds of wild buffalo. We trailed cattle with John Chisholm, crossed the Canadian with Charlie Goodnight, shared a cup of coffee in a warm fire with Bert Burnett on the red, many a cold wintry night. The Matador, the Pitch Park, the Sandbar, we bled the blood for their brains. Fact is, there wouldn't be any of them fancy places in this world today if it wasn't for old cowhands. Men like Bill Pickett, he grabbed the steer by the horns and bit him in the nose. And Will Rogers, telling stories and practicing tricks with them Larry 
we're honored to say we slip under the same stars as men like Tom Blessingham. Old Mr. Tom cowboyed for more years than most folks lived to know. Remington, Russell, J. Frank Doby, and Will James read the lines, drew the sketches, and painted the pictures so all your world to know. The Indian, the cowboy, the longhorn, mustang, and buffalo. Scholar folks tell you we're a dying breed. Pay less attention to what you hear and a spur more what you see. For I'm a cowboy! Ain't much to look at, I will admit. But don't bathe before Sunday, Thursday, I'd smell like warmed over death. But we're roping, we're riding, and paying taxes. So the good Lord knows, Uncle Sam and so should you, that as long as them stars and stripes is waving over this great country, and there's a fire of burning, a fire we call the Spirit of the West, then the cowboy is alive. He's alive in their dreams. He's alive in the imagination. I tell you, he's alive in the hearts of all the world. So if you hear city folks say it, pull out two dollars and call their bet. And when they want to know how you know, you tell them. By golly, you tell them your old friend Joe Texas told you. The cowboy ain't dead yet. I appreciate it. Man, I love this Northeast Texas humidity. <laughs> That's the most water I've seen in three years. Living in Pan Am. Hope you enjoyed the show. Did you? Well, I hope you did. If you did, tell a friend or neighbor about it. Right now, this is the longest running and I'm proud to say the most successful one-man show in America and the only one man show in America about the American Cowboy. Yay. So, we've been very fortunate. We've been doing this for 23 years now. Magazine is the best Western show in the world. I thank y'all. Appreciate you. God bless you. We we'll see.